Hello Tubers! Today we're going to do something just a bit different as I often do on my channel. I always enjoy trying new things in film editing and today will be something to delight the mind if you are a Stanley Kubrick fan as I am. Ever since I first saw 2001 A Space Odyssey as a child, I was amazed at not just how Kubrick did this film, but in the style and manner in which it was shot and edited. The use of music and sound, or even the lack of sound, was something that always amazed me about this film. 2001 was not a film about dialogue or heavy character development, say except for the HAL 9000 computer. I'm sorry Dave, I'm afraid I can't do that. What you're about to see does not use one frame or sound from the original movie, but it creates a contemporary adaptation using many of the same editing styles and components of the film. It is a tribute to the late Stanley Kubrick and a film that I especially revere. What got me going to try such a task was the fact that I realized I was sitting on a large catalog of licensed stock images that I was free to legally use, along with access to a library of music and sound effects. After poking around a bit, I realized that with some elaborate visual and sound editing, I could actually do a realistic and contemporary short film and create a tribute to Kubrick's profoundly imaginative style. This is a marriage of visuals and sound, as it was in the original film. Without giving much away, this film takes place in the year 2112, and I have called it Rebirth. It is set 102 years after the sequel, 2010, the year we made contact. While I have my own ideas of what this film means, in pure Kubrickian style, you are free to share your own interpretation. After all, it's just digital art. The entire short film required only one full day of editing, compositing, and sound editing. It was edited using Sony Vegas. I give you 2012 Rebirth. And thanks for the memory, Stanley. Beep, beep, beep.